step into the whispers of the rainforest where wisdom and enchantment intertwine. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to join us on more magical adventures in Riddles of the Rainforest. In the heart of a mystical rainforest, where ancient trees scraped the heavens and flowers glowed under the moon's gaze, a world thrived, pulsing with magic. Here, animals spoke in human tongues, and secrets were kept under a blanket of leaves and whispers. On the outskirts of this enchanted forest, in a village vibrant with colour and life, lived sisters Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby. Goo Goo Girl, 12, was known for her sharp intellect and a curiosity as vast as the sky. Her younger sister, Gabby, aged 10, was fearless, with an imagination as wild as the wind. Decorated with beads that clinked melodiously as they walked, their braids were as much a part of their identity as their indomitable spirit. Their grandmother, Mama Odie, who had the laughter of spring and the wisdom of many winters, often regaled them with tales of the rainforest's heart, where the earth spoke and the stars listened. One story she cherished was that of the ancient Book of Riddles, said to be hidden in a temple where roots hugged stone and time whispered secrets. One drizzly afternoon, driven by the lure of adventure and stories told by moonlight, the sisters found themselves at the forgotten temple that seemed to breathe with ancient rhythms. Overgrown with vines, it cradled an old book wrapped in leaves and bound by the history of the jungle itself. The riddles of the rainforest, Goo Goo Girl read aloud as they pored over the shimmering text. The first riddle awaited, where the sun whispers goodnight. Find the creature whose coat is the colour of the moonlight. It was an invitation and a challenge. The sisters knew they needed the wisdom of the talking animals, magical denizens of the forest, to guide their path. Their journey led them deeper into the heart of the jungle. Here, the toucan, a bird with feathers that rivaled rainbows, fluttered down to them. Seeking answers, the journey ahead demands respect. We wish to learn, to understand, Goo Goo Girl replied, her voice a mix of determination and awe. Follow me, but mind the forest's eyes, the toucan warned, leading them to a river that flowed backward with a murmuring rush. This river, they learned, was temperamental, its mood swung with the phases of the moon. To cross safely, Gabby listened to its bubbling chatter, mimicking its tones until the waters calmed and allowed them passage. This first trial taught them that every element of the forest communicated in its way. They just needed to listen. Beyond the river lay a maze of thorns, daunting and dense. An old sloth, sage of the forest, advised, each thorn a lesson, each path a choice. Reflect on where you've been to navigate forward. Taking turns leading, they remembered their steps, allowing their past paths to guide them. The maze respected their thoughtful approach, opening pathways where thorns once barred the way. Emerging from the maze, they encountered the shadow foxes, creatures cloaked in night. Trust not just your eyes, but also your heart, they crooned. Here, Goo Goo Girl closed her eyes, trusting her senses over sight. She felt the earth's steady hum beneath her feet, guiding them through illusions and trickery spun by the foxes. At twilight, they reached a glade bathed in the light of glowing flowers. Here sat a jaguar, ancient and wise, its coat a tapestry of moonlight and shadows. You seek answers, it spoke, its voice the rustle of falling leaves. We seek to understand, to protect, Goo Goo Girl declared. True wisdom is the guardian of these lands. Learn well, but remember your duty to preserve, the jaguar instructed, teaching them the language of trees and the dance of winds. Their newfound knowledge, however, stirred the forest's guardian spirit, a creature of leaves and ancient breezes. It emerged, formidable and wild, questioning their purpose. Why disturb the slumber of my realm? Gabby stepped forward, brave and true. We come not to disturb, but to guard, to learn so we might teach others to cherish these woods. Touched by their resolve and sincerity, the spirit relented, entrusting them with the deeper secrets of the forest, ensuring its protection. Armed with wisdom and a promise, the sisters returned to their village. No longer mere children, they were now stewards of the forest's law. They shared their knowledge, teaching their friends to listen to the whispers of the wind and the stories of the stones. In their village, the Festival of Whispers was fast approaching, a yearly celebration where tales of the forest and its mysteries were shared. The sisters took to the stage. With the confidence of those who had faced the spirit of the forest and returned, they recounted their adventure, emphasizing the lessons about respect and conservation. Their words captivated the villagers, young and old, as they spoke of the talking animals, the river that flowed backward, and the wise jaguar under the moonlit glade. Amidst the festival, the mischievous shadow foxes, drawn to the celebration's light and laughter, sneaked into the village. This time, however, they were not alone. 
They had brought with them a young fox, Flicker, who was curious about humans and their ways. Flicker's playful antics soon caused a commotion, leading Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby to a surprising encounter. Realising that Flicker was different from the other shadow foxes, more curious and less wary of humans, the sisters saw an opportunity to bridge the gap between the village and the more elusive forest creatures. They introduced Flicker to the crowd, explaining his nature and origin, thus fostering a new understanding and appreciation for the creatures of the forest among the villagers. Inspired by the sisters' tales and their interaction with Flicker, the villagers decided to take a more active role in protecting their neighbouring forest. The elders proposed creating a community garden that would use principles the sisters had learned from the forest, like listening to the land and fostering biodiversity. Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby helped to organise the project, using their knowledge to choose plants that would attract beneficial insects and birds, effectively extending the richness of the rainforest into their village. This garden would serve as a living classroom, a place for everyone to learn about the symbiotic relationships that sustained their environment. Months passed and the community garden flourished, becoming a lush corner of green that mirrored the vibrancy of the rainforest. The sisters continued to visit the temple, learning and documenting new riddles in the ancient Book of Riddles. Each visit it deepened their connection to the forest and its ancient wisdom. One moonlit night, as they revisited the bioluminescent glade, the spirit of the forest appeared once more. This time, it was not to challenge, but to thank them. You have grown, little guardians, and with you, the respect for this land, it said, its voice a gentle breeze. As the years rolled by, Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby grew into roles of leadership within the village. The story of their journey into the heart of the rainforest became a beloved tale, told and retold at many Festival of Whispers. They trained new guardians from among the village children, passing on the mantle and ensuring that the wisdom of the rainforest would perpetuate through generations. The rainforest thrived, protected and revered by all who lived at its edge. The sisters, now wise women, often stood at the edge of the village, looking into the forest that had taught them so much, proud of the legacy they had helped build, a legacy of curiosity, respect, and an everlasting bond between their people and the magical rainforest. Thus, the riddles of the rainforest continued to unfold, with each solved puzzle not just a victory of intellect, but a deepening of the soul's understanding of the natural world. As time passed, Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby continued to explore deeper layers of their connection with the forest. They became revered as the keepers of the riddles, guardians who not only held the keys to ancient wisdom, but also actively protected the delicate balance of their ecosystem. Their legend grew, drawing curious visitors from distant lands. These visitors came seeking wisdom, and the sisters taught them the importance of listening, truly listening, to the language of the natural world. The visitors learned how to hear the subtle differences in the river's flow, and the stories that the wind carried across the canopy. The sisters also organised annual gatherings where people from surrounding areas came to share their own stories and wisdom about nature. These gatherings became known as the Conclaves of the Whispered Tales. Here, every voice mattered, from the youngest child to the oldest elder, and the wisdom of the forest was woven through every tale shared. One particularly starlit night during one of these conclaves, an unexpected guest appeared, the forest spirit itself, now manifesting not as a formidable guardian, but as a gentle, nurturing presence. It spoke to all gathered, its voice a soothing murmur through the leaves. You have not only heard my whispers, but have also kept the heart of the forest beating strongly, it said. As long as you continue to protect and respect these lands, my magic will flourish, and so will your people. Moved by the spirit's words, the community renewed their vows to protect the forest with even greater zeal. Under the guidance of Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Garby, they implemented more advanced conservation techniques, including reforestation projects and wildlife protection initiatives. The sisters eventually wrote down their experiences and the lessons they had learned in a book titled Echoes of the Enchanted Forest. This book was filled with stories, riddles and insights about the interconnectedness of all life forms. It was placed next to the ancient book of riddles in the temple, serving as a companion guide for future generations. Years turned into decades and the sisters grew old, their hair silver like moonlight and their smiles deep with the lines of countless smiles and laughter. Their legacy was not just in their adventures, but also in the thriving village that continued to live in harmony with the rainforest. 
Their final days were spent surrounded by the community they loved, under the canopy of the forest they had protected. When they passed, it was said that the forest mourned, and for a moment, the entire rainforest was silent, paying homage to its greatest protectors. But the silence did not last long, from the depths of the forest, new whispers began to emerge, new riddles waiting to be solved. The children of the village, now grown with children of their own, took up the mantle left by the sisters. Guided by the spirit of Gugu Girl and Gugu Gabby, and the timeless wisdom of the ancient Book of Riddles, they continued to unravel the mysteries of the forest. Thus, the legacy of the sisters lived on, woven into the fabric of the village and the eternal whispers of the rainforest. The riddles of the rainforest, once a path to adventure for two young girls, had become a perpetual bond, uniting past, present and future in the dance of the leaves and the songs of the wind. In this way, the story of the rainforest was never ending, always unfolding, always teaching those who were willing to listen and learn. As the mysteries of the rainforest teach us, every experience enriches our bond with the world around us. If this tale of adventure has inspired you, give us a like, share the magic, and stay tuned for more heartwarming stories right here.